Of all the things I've been sent for free after starting this YouTube channel, I think this is the most interesting by far. I've always had a passing interest in robotics, but never really took it anywhere. And I've been thinking more and more though that it would make a great area to get into if I was a kid today wondering about career paths with robotics and autonomy creeping into so many industries. It sort of strikes me that this thing would make a great thing for kids to be getting to grips with early on. That's really why I was glad to do a little video on this amazing six axis robot arm that was sent to me for review. It's marketed for education and hobbyists and I can see this thing being really cool to use in schools as well as for anyone wanting to experiment with writing code to create logic to learn about computer controlling something like this. It's basically a tiny version of the big robots you see moving car parts around in production lines. So we can choose between the grabber or a suction gripper uh, as the way that it can be used to get hold of things and these are called effectors. There's also an RGB light on the end here that can be fully controlled as well so that's a bit of fun. You can also connect a camera to it and use that to do things like recognize QR codes and colors and shapes. And I haven't tested this but it looks like it's a pretty versatile system that can actually work with any USB camera and then you can incorporate the image recognition stuff into your code to create automated routines based on that. And I checked this with them and they say that it's currently undocumented but hopefully that will come soon. So the beauty I think of this product is the approachability of the operating system. And this is basically running Raspberry Pi so you interact with it as if you would do with one of those. So that's just a case of plugging in your display to the HDMI port and a keyboard and mouse over USB and you're in. So this is running Ubuntu and comes with a bunch of different programs to interact with the robot in different ways. The easiest way to start playing with this is just to open the My Blockly app and this is a very key kid-friendly way to start getting the robot to do stuff and this works out of the box. So with this you create your logic just by dragging and dropping the blocks into a chain and entering the values you want to trigger and pressing the play button will run the chain. The neat thing about this approach is it generates the Python code for you which lets you start getting used to the Python code used to control the arm because you can write that yourself separately later. Python on the system comes pre-configured to work with my cobot so you can start saving and running scripts from anywhere using the command line. This is brilliant fun and lets you start with real coding and using an interactive session is also quite a fun way to use this as the arm responds with each line that you issue. There are also a lot of sample scripts that you can download and run which is a good way to start learning what it can do and makes for some good starting points. A great example of this is this script that shows you how you can make a learning mode for the device to record some motion as you physically move it around and then play it back. And this kind of thing is really valuable in getting started with the device quickly. There is another tool available called ROS that requires the unit to be flashed with different firmware. So to do that you need to connect the unit to your Mac or PC and use the MyCobot app to change the firmware. So basically you have the out of the box firmware which works with the MyBlockly app and then the other firmware for the ROS app. So this looks really cool as it lets you control the robot but also see it visualized and you can also show the 3D model as you manually move the unit. There are actually two controllers on here that need the firmware flashing. One is the main unit at the bottom and the other is the effector end and they each have their own USB ports that you can use to flash the firmware. One issue I had here though is that I didn't manage to get the main unit to show up on my version of the software on the Mac so I couldn't actually change the firmware to test this out. And it worked when I connected the Atom unit which is the effector end but not the main unit via its USB port. And they're helping me resolve this though and I think it's something to do with the driver that I've got to install on the Mac but there are some security things stopping me from doing that. A product like this could be pretty frustrating without some good documentation to show you where to go with it. And considering this is very much a Chinese brand behind this, the English documentation is mostly very good and it often includes some really Really interesting background reading on robotics principles in general uh, which really clarifies the appeal of this as a learning tool for education and the only issue I can see with the documentation is it's not actually often that clear if a given bit of information applies to this version the Pi version of the robot or the other version which is, is you know, a different system with its own screen and different uh, architecture. Overall a super little product and priced pretty well I think and it can certainly be used to great effect as a learning tool and introduction to the kinds of concepts that robotic arms use and the fact that it's based on Raspberry Pi is really what makes it stand out I think uh, and it immediately gives a sense of familiarity as you approach working with something potentially a little bit daunting like this. So I'm very much a layman with this kind of thing and this is the only thing that I've used like this but as far as I can see it achieves everything it sets out to do very well. Uh, let me know if you've used one of these or something similar and actually I'd be really interested in your thoughts if you have a career in robotics I'd love to hear what you think about these kinds of devices. So I make films looking at design, usability and workflow so please subscribe for more interesting videos looking at many different products and exploring ways to get the most out of them in all areas of our lives. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.